All right, welcome to part two. So here we're gonna talk about the third inversion of the G chord. So this one's gonna be D string, G string, B string, all open. So that's part of a G chord. As you can see, that fits in this, inside the normal G chord. So this is a G, then a G sharp, and an A. You recognize that from your regular A chord. A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, and etc. Okay, now let's look at the third inversion of the C chord. So the C chord was three, two, open, two, open, one, and then we're gonna go open, one, open on those bottom three. So if we start moving that, we got C sharp, and then you know this from your regular D, D sharp, E, F. So see, here's a good one for F, that little shape right there, that D shape, but on the fifth fret. If you have trouble with the F down here, like we talked about, you could just do the three, two, one, or the two, one, O. Oh. But your next and your next option would be like this D shape on the fifth fret. That's also an F chord. Okay, so let's go through those again. We're gonna have the G third inversion, G, uh, D string, G, and B. So those move up like that. We're gonna come down to the C, its third inversion. That's gonna be G, C, and E. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, etc. Okay, now we're gonna look at D. minor chords third inversion. So we're actually gonna start on a D on this one, and you know this G minor chord shape, that's how we end up getting five, five, three. So that five, five, three is a move, movable chord shape, that's a G minor. So G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor. Okay, and then let's look at the C down here. The C we had C, E flat, and G were the notes of that C minor chord. So we're gonna start on this five right here, that G note. So we got five, five, four. That's gonna be our shape, that's our movable shape. See, that's like an A minor shape. But if we start here on the C, we got C, C sharp. These are all minors. C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, F minor. Okay, those are all just little triads, three note things that you can make these chords out of. You don't always have to play the big bar chords or the difficult ones. Plus, um, you come up with little riffs like that start me up I was talking about. Those two little shapes, they just go together. They're easy to play together. A lot of cool riffs come out of that thing. Um, the triads kind of idea. Plus it helps you, like I say, like if you just kind of trace where you are on these things, like D, go up two frets for an E, go up one fret for an F. That's gonna help you find different chord shapes and locate your notes on your neck a lot better. Okay, so let's look at this bottom one. So if we had, uh, we talked about G minor being five, five, three, and C minor being five, five, four. Well, now for this F minor, we're actually gonna have five, instead of five, six, five for a major, we have to flat the third of that. So it's gonna be five, six, four. So that's an F minor right there. F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor. Okay, so we're gonna keep on moving. We're gonna go into the higher range now. We're gonna talk about um, the next octave of all the inversions thing. And we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna get to Hotel California at the end. Let's go back to G, but let's go to the next inversion of G. Let's go up into the higher register. So if we started on a G here, on the G string, we would go open, open, three. And that would be a little piece of a G thing. Like you could also kind of spin that back around and have one of those kind of pull off riffs. So open, open, three is G. So one, one, four is G sharp. Two, two, five is A. Three, three, six is A sharp. Then we can look at the C one. Now the C one is gonna go, if we did the same thing, it'd be five, five, eight. C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So see how these work? Just knowing these little sets of threes can get you going on a whole bunch of cool stuff. Here's a different one for C. 103. So 103 goes to 214 C sharp. 325 is D. 436 is D sharp. 547 is E. See how that works? So then let's look at a different one here. Now, if we go up even higher, we could look at this kind of backwards and go, here are some notes of G major. Now, if we hit one or a minor, we would have to make that flatter. So what we're doing now is we're leading ourselves into getting closer to Hotel California solo there. 
But we have a couple more things to talk about. One of them would be, now let's look at this G, but if we were doing minor, so it wouldn't be open, open, three, it'd be open, three, three. G minor. One, four, four, G sharp minor. Let's go two, five, five, A minor. Three, six, six, A sharp minor, or B flat minor. Okay, so that's a new one we got here. And let's look at this. So if we had a, a like I said, a G. So here's our little G right here. Now we need a, the three note is a major third. So each one is a whole step away where a minor third, see this is the first and second. A minor third is flatted of that higher third. That's how you get that stuff. So this would be like a G major, whereas this would be an A minor. B minor. C major, see how it's got the extra stretch? D major. E minor. Okay, so see how that works? Now let's get into Hotel California here. So this one's gonna start out with a B minor triad. We're gonna go, this is B minor triad, 10, seven, seven. Okay, you're gonna do five sets of that. Now we're gonna move down to this one lower here. This is gonna be, remember where I had that C shape? One, open three. And the C was right here, that was our starting note. So here we're gonna be using this triad where this seventh fret note is kind of what the C was back there. So that's this is the name of the chord actually, this is the F sharp. So we're going from B minor to F sharp major. And what we do is the, sec the third time of that, we go 9, 6, 14. Now we're going to do a major one here off this A, so that's going to be 9, 5, 5. And then we have an E. We're going to go 7, 4, 5, 7, 4, up to 12, the E note. Now we have a G major triad, 7, 3, and 3. Then we have a D triad goes to the D, the 10. Then we have an E minor, three open, open. And then we come back to a major one, the F sharp major. Up to the ninth fret there. So let's go through all that again. We got. If you wanted to do a bit a B minor, but you don't, you're not ready to do that big, big old bar chord, you could just do the four three two and try to just mute everything else. You know, sometimes when you're playing, trying to get just these bottom strings, use your thumb and the rest of your wrist to like block off those bigger strings too. Okay, so that was a bit on triads. Hope you all dug that. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.